Welcome to Demystifying Math. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing integrals that involve logarithms. Keep in mind that the integral of 1 over x dx is the natural log of the absolute value of x plus a constant. Our first example is 4 over 2x plus 3. We're going to let u equal the 2x plus 3 and then take the derivative of u, which is 2 dx. We don't have a 2 dx in our integral, but we do have 4 dx, so we'll multiply both sides of that equation by 2, and that means that we're going to replace 4 dx with 2 du, and we're also replacing u um, for 2x plus 3. So we end up with the integral of 2 times 1 over u du, and the integral of 1 over u du is the natural log of the absolute value of u, and then we have a constant multiplier of 2. So we have 2 times the natural log of u, which becomes 2x plus 3 plus c. Let's look at our second example. We have 5x minus 1 over 3x squared. Since our denominator is a monomial, we can rewrite this as two separate fractions. And then we're going to simplify it. So we have 5 thirds times the integral of 1 over x dx minus 1 third times the integral of 1 over x squared, which we rewrote as x to the negative 2. Then we're going to integrate both of those. So the integral of the 1 over x dx is the natural log of the absolute value of x, and the integral of negative 1 third x to the negative 2 will become positive 1 third x to the negative 1, which I rewrote as 1 over 3x. And then we have a constant added to that. Let's look at example 3. We have 6x squared plus 2x minus 1 all over 3x minus 2. In this case, you have a, a binomial in the denominator, so we're going to need to use long division to rewrite this. So I divided 3x minus 2 into 6x squared plus 2x minus 1. So 3x divided into 6x squared gives us 2x. Then we multiplied the 2x by the 3x and got 6x squared, and then multiplied it by the negative 2 and got negative 4x. Now when you're doing long division, you're subtracting, so you have the 6x squared minus self, itself, which is 0, and the 2x minus negative 4x gives us positive 6x. Then I brought down the negative 1. Now we're going to divide again. The 3x goes into 6x twice, and then multiplying 2 times 3x gives us 6x, and 2 times negative 2 gives us negative 4. Again, we're subtracting down so the first terms cancel. When you have negative 1 minus negative 4, which gives you positive 3 as a remainder. So we're going to rewrite our integral as 2x plus 2 and our remainder over the divisor, which is 3x minus 2. So I broke it up as three separate integrals and we're going to do some u substitution on the last one. I'm going to let u equal the denominator, 3x minus 2, and then du is 3dx. Now we can do the substitution. I integrated the first one, so 2x becomes 2x squared over 2, which is just x squared. And for the 2, it becomes 2x when you integrate. And then for the last term, you end up with the du, which is the 3dx, and the u replacing 3x minus 2. So again, we have the natural log of u for that last term, plus c, which is a constant. And then go back and replace your u with what you have it set up to, which is 3x minus 2. For example, 4, we have 3 minus x over 5x minus 4 all squared. We're going to do some u substitution on this one. So I'm letting u equal the denominator again, and du is going to be 5 dx, or 1 -fifth du is dx. That didn't give us a replacement for 3 minus x, but we can manipulate our u value to do the replacement. So isolating x, we get u plus 4 over 5 is equal to x. So I'm going to plug that in for x here. So you have 3 minus the u plus 4 over 5. So replacing all our variables with u variables. In our denominator, we have u squared, and our dx becomes 1 fifth du. 
Now I'm going to rewrite this numerator so we have a common denominator. So I multiply the 3 by 5 over 5. So I get 15 over 5. And then I distribute the u, the, um, the negative to the u and to the 4. And then I'm just going to combine like terms. So the 15 minus 4 is going to be in the numerator. And I brought the 5 down to the denominator. And then I'm going to combine the 15 and the negative 4 to get 11 minus u. And I multiplied the two 5s together here. So I have 1 over 25 as a constant multiplier. Now we have a monomial in the denominator. And I'm going to separate it as two separate fractions. So I have 11 over u squared minus u over u squared, which is 1 over u. Now it's set up so that we can integrate. So the 11 over u squared becomes negative 11 over u, and that's multiplied by 1 over 25. And then the 1 over u is going to be the natural log of u, but again that's multiplied by the 1 over 25, and that was a negative term as well, plus c. Then just replace your u with what you had it set up to at the beginning, so you have 5x minus 4, and then you add your c, and you're done with that one. I also distributed the 25, um, so it's 125x minus 100. And you could even distribute this negative down here and do 100 minus 125x if you wanted to. Okay, let's look at our next example. For example 5, we have 1 over x minus x over 9x squared minus 5. This is a definite integral, so we're going to integrate from 1 to 3. So I broke it up as two separate integrals, and we're going to do some u substitution on the second one. So we're going to let u equal the 9x squared minus 5. Then du is 18x dx. Well, we have x dx in our problem, so we're going to manipulate that a little bit and do 1 over 18 du is going to replace x dx. So for the first integral, we just get the natural log from 1 to 3. And for the second one, our substitution gives us 118 du over u. So we're going to integrate the second one. And I'm also going to change my endpoints of integration, which I did here. Sorry, I skipped that over. Um, but you're evaluating u at 1 and at 3. This way we don't have to turn it back into x values. It's only good if you have a de definite integral. Otherwise, you would have to put it back in terms of x. So you have um, u evaluated 1 is 4, and u evaluated at 3 is 76. So that's where the change in the input endpoints of integration came in. All right, so the integral of du over u is log u. And we're going to integrate that one from 4 to 76, and here this one from 1 to 3. And this you'll have to estimate in your calculator. So I got a brown 0.935. All right, thank you for tuning in to Demystifying Math.